New at four, an Orlando woman says she felt empowered after she got out of a bad relationship. Yeah, she is now using that strength to run her own coffee business. As News 6's Amanda Castro explains, the woman is not letting her past define her future. Jen says her attitude is gratitude, and that's why she named her business Gratitude Coffee, saying she's grateful every day she gets to follow her passion, and also grateful that she left what she calls a toxic relationship several years ago. Coffee runs through Jen Hackney's veins. I started out at Barney's in the 80s. Happily caffeinating customers for more than 30 years. I like to say I'm the oldest barista in town. Iced Americano. But life wasn't always sweet for Jen. I used to call myself broken. Broken by what she calls a toxic relationship. Jen says it's hard to talk about her past. I felt like when I was in that situation that it wasn't me. That it was kind of like an outer life experience, like almost like a movie, like I was watching somebody and like, wait a minute, that's not me. She says it took a lot of strength, but she finally left that relationship eight years ago. Now empowered, she's not letting what happened define her, using that strength to open her own business called Gratitude Coffee that she runs out of this food truck, a reminder of how far she's come with every coffee she makes. You cannot be broken because you're strong and tough and you persevere. Jen donated during the last phone bank News 6 hosted for Harbor House and knows just how important the organization is to victims of domestic violence. Luckily, I broke away from it. Not everybody does. So Harbor House, Harbor House provides a good service for our community. She's brewing up a bright future and plans to open her own storefront soon and hopes to share her message of gratitude with others. Maybe helping other women, maybe mentoring would be really fulfilling for me. In Orlando, Amanda Castro, so News 6. She wow. is so popular. I see her every day. She is on yeah. Edgewater Drive in College Park, right by Lake Adair. She constantly has a line. I kind of hope she doesn't open a storefront because I think there's going to be so many sad people <laughs> yeah, uh, who look forward to seeing her every day. I know Troy Bridges stops there and gets coffee well, regularly, I need to too. Go. I well, really good yeah. for her, so though, because a lot yeah. of people don't talk about their situation, mm -hmm. but when you kind of put a face on it and especially yeah. a success story yeah. on it, it gives other people who are in that situation a lot of hope, I yeah. think. Yeah. Love that she wants to mentor. Yes. yes. Chief Meteorologist. Tom Sorrell is joining us now.